Hey, 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 welcome to my channel, Unbiased LLC. Um, today, I wanted to bring to you something that I saw on YouTube. So this is not my invention. I'm just recreating it, okay? I'm going to take this serving tray, just a regular serving tray I bought at the um, thrift store. And you see all the spots on it. But don't worry about that. We're going to make it look beautiful. Okay. <laughs> so stay tuned. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. So let me show you the materials that I will be using. I'm going to be using four sheets of aluminum foil. I'm using four sheets because I needed heavyweight aluminum foil, but I only have... The regular weight aluminum foil so i'm going to just double my sheets i'm also going to be using some heat resistant tape i'm also going to be using a hammer just in case my staples don't go where they need to go i am also going to be using some staples for my staple gun these are three eighths of an inch staples and this is my handy dandy staple gun the electrical kind um please use this wisely um i'm not responsible if you you know do something to your hands or toes or fingers or whatever okay <laughs> okay so um also i have two layers of quilted bat batting cotton 100% cotton two layers I also have one layer of cotton fabric that this is going to be my topper and I also have one layer of wool fabric that I'm going to be putting on top of the aluminum foil so stay tuned and I will show you exactly how I'm going to achieve this look. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my, and this has been cleaned to the best of my ability, okay? I'm going to take my four layers of aluminum foil, and I'm going to place them shiny side up. That's important, shiny side up. What the aluminum foil does is it helps to keep moisture out of your wood, okay? So you wanna put this on really, really flat, as flat as you can. And so, like I said, I'm doubling mine up and one sheet does not fit my table. So I am going to double up on a second layer and just make sure that I fold it over really, really nicely. Okay. So, after I have that down, what I'm going to do is flip my table upside down and my wool piece is going to go directly over the foil paper, okay? And I'm going to staple this down and I'll be back. So what you want to do is cut your material bigger than your table or wood piece or whatever it is that you're using, okay? And you want to fold it over and staple it all the way around. And once I get it stapled all the way around on all four sides, I will come back. Okay, I have all four sides um, stapled together. So this is what my table is looking like so far, okay? But I have a lot of excess material and I'm just gonna cut all of that excess off because I still have three more layers to go and just gonna clean it up. So I'll be back. So as I stated before, I have two 
layers of quilted cotton batting, 100% cotton batting. I'm going to layer these individually. You probably can layer them together. However, you want this that surface to be really, really flat. So I'm just going to layer them one at a time. And all I'm gonna do is put it on my board, on my table, like this. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing. I'm just going to staple it all the way around. So I'm just gonna flip my table over and then staple all the way around, do the second layer, and then I'll be back. I'm gonna take this time to say, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, like, comment, and share, okay? Thank you, <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, so I finished stapling the first layer and this is what it's looking like. It's smooth. So all that yucky stuff is underneath. You can't see it. And I will get all this lint off of here. And then I'm going to put the other layer on top and staple it down. So I have both layers of my quilted cotton batting on here stapled. And let me show you what it looks like underneath so far. And so now I'm going to put my top layer, which is 100% cotton. Um, and I chose um, this African fabric print hoping that I could get most of the purple onto the table. But of course, it may not fit, but yeah, that's about as good as it's going to get. So this is what it's going to look like when I'm done. And I'm just going to turn this over upside down and staple it, staple it down. And you want to make sure that this last layer is as tight as you can get it. And you want it to be as flat. You don't want any bumps and wrinkles, crinkles, <laughs> anything underneath the surface. Okay, you want this to be as flat as possible. So, let me show you what I'm doing. So, I'm just going to flip it upside down and again cut your fabric bigger than your table because you want to be able to pull as much as possible so I'm just going to fold this over and get as much of this flat as I can and then I'm just going to start stapling it now I did use my pinking shears on the edge of this fabric, but if you don't have pinking shears, you can fold this over. So cut enough so where when you fold it over, you won't see the, the raw edges, okay? So since mine is a little bit bigger than I expected it to be, or I cut it way bigger than I expected it to be, I'ma just fold mine over. That way it just looks a little bit neater and the beauty about this table is that if you have a small space you can tuck this tray away and you can also use it as a cutting station so you can put your 
um, cutting mat on top of this table and use it when you need and then put it away. So I'm just going to continue to staple all the way around, pulling it and tucking it. And then I'm just going to turn it to the opposite side because you want to do parallel sides, right? And you see how I'm pulling it? I'm going to pull it really, really tight. Like till the fabric has no more give. And then I'm just going to fold it so that my raw edges is um, underneath. And then I'm just going to staple it. Please be careful with your staple gun, whether it's manual or electric. Just keep your fingers out of the way. Uh-oh, that one didn't make it. So now I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do the opposite side. And I'm just going to fold it over. You don't have to pull this side, but you do have to pull the, the, the other side really tight, okay? So you can just tuck this one. Let's see. I think I need to do this. And, and the beauty of this is if your topper gets dirty, you can always recover it. You can go the lazy route and just cover on top of it, like put another piece of cotton fabric on top of it, or you can take this staples out with like a screwdriver a flathead screwdriver um something like that and take the staples out and recover it all over again um you probably can leave on your batting piece but that's totally up to you um i guess it depends on what it looks like once you take the fabric off so this side i'm going to pull really tight okay and then i'm going to fold it And then I'm going to staple it down. And we're almost done. And it's a really, it's really, really quick. I wanted to say in the beginning that you can use any kind of wood um, that you may have lying around you know, from a shelf or something, it really doesn't matter as long as you can put 
fabric on it and don't forget to line it with the fall paper. The fall paper is going to draw heat and it's going to help your seams lay flat or flatter. <laughs> okay. So you can do any size you would like. My tray is 21 inches by 14 and a half. So that's a pretty big, pretty big space to iron on. So give me a minute and I'll be back. So I've put all my staples in around my table. I'm just going to bring it up to the camera so you can see what it looks like closely from the back. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Um, let's see. Hopefully, you can see. Okay. You can see what it looks like. And so now, we have an ironing station that we can use and take out when we need it. And it's very flat, if, if you can see that, it's very flat, but it's hard and it's sturdy if I let the legs out right. But when you don't need this, you just put it away. And when you have a small space like mine, this will come in handy to just store it, put it away. And so this is how I'm making my table topper for my ironing station. So when I start to iron my fabric or need to iron my fabric, I don't have to take out my big ironing board. I can just take this out, iron and put it away. So thank you for watching. <laughs> I appreciate you for being here. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and come back for more tutorials like this one. If this was helpful to you, please leave this video a thumbs up. What are you waiting for? Okay? I'm upside down for you. I'm upside down for you. Okay? <laughs> okay. So, see you on the next video.